Dude. Woo! Woo! That's kind of like... Oh, JJ! Why is this near the car, though? When I'm saying JJK is a failure, of course, it's a commercial success. But at the end of the day, where the fuck is this manga going to be in 10 years? You compare this to any of the goaded mangas, Dragon Ball, Naruto, Bleach, any other manga that sets a fucking standard, like I've been saying every time. Now, I just hate to be brutally honest with all of you guys. Jujutsu Kaisen is literally just fucking, like, 12-year-old's first anime. It really is. The way everyone has been grabbing and just, like, latching onto this show when it really just doesn't do shit is the most mind-boggling bullshit I've ever seen. Every character dies with no buildup, no development, and it's just for the sake of shock value. And that shock value doesn't mean shit because we have no characters to even feel or get accustomed to or even like come to terms with their death with. What is the point? Pause. There's no pausing and it's live. What? I didn't know it was live. Actual dog shit. Like there's like way too many plot points that are unaddressed not covered, that just go fucking nowhere. This is like, this is the anime that niggas are thinking, saying is competing with Dragon Ball. This is the anime that niggas are just like gassing the fuck up. This is like the biggest show out right now. What the fuck is this story, bro? What did I walk away with? What the fuck? Oh, bro, 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 bro. Oh my God. The thing that gets me pissed off the most about this dog shit ass manga. Do you know what that is? It's build up. It's build up. Because you know what's crazy? The entire manga is them just killing one nigga. It's literally that. Oh, this nigga Sukuna gonna come back. He gonna be the Ross. He's gonna be the most OD motherfucker. This nigga sucked. Full form Sukuna was a joke. Hey y'all, nigga, uh, we can talk this out. Like, bro. And then just like half of the cast gets sidelined and we know nothing about these niggas. What the fuck happened to Miwa? Where the fuck is Noritoshi? Like. Why does Gojo, why is he the only character with a fucking backstory? And the backstory is just him getting a power up. My fucking God. All these, like, the only thing that this shit has is a power system. And it's honestly just bootleg Hunter x Hunter. Literally all these mangas are just commercial successes and after they get all the sales and the money, it's done. Demon Slayer. J my hero. JJK. Where is my payoff? Where is my time and investment as a fucking reader? And you just gonna have niggas dick sucking. Oh, this shit, he, this shit fire. What you got to talk about? What the fuck was that ending? What did this resolve, man? We're just going to kill Sukuna and then that's it. This is what's so dog shit about the writing. They're going to build up to this villain the entire fucking manga. And we know nothing about this villain. Sukuna was the whole manga. We know nothing about him. Why he's evil. Why the fuck he has four arms. Why the fuck he has four eyes. They say he was a human. Why is he no longer a human? Oh, this nigga Sukuna, he he was he was part of in the past, he killed these niggas that were so OD back in the day. He was that raw nigga. Like nigga, we see none of this shit. Wow. Like what is the point of reading this shit? 
outside of just nonsense fights. And even then, the fights, compare them to Dragon Ball or Hunter x Hunter or like even Naruto, it, it, the fights aren't even that good. All it has is domain expansions and convoluted bullshit and plot armor. There's no world building. Bro, the three families are all connected to the three Japanese vengeful spirits. What about them? What about... Like, we know nothing about the three vengeful spirits that these niggas got all their curse techniques from. Why is he for views, I guess? I don't know. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah, that's just cursed energy, bro. Yep. Cursed energy flame man man manipulation right there. Dude. Woo! Woo! That's kind of like... Oh, it. Why is this near the car, though? Jujutsu Kaisen, because it's... Oh, God. Because, you, you, did you see the ending? Yeah. That ending was trash. So the whole thing is trash? Yes, the whole thing is trash. How do you mess up the ending? No, no, nah, don't bring up Berserk. Nah, nah. Berserk with no ending is better than this shit with an ending. Don't no, remind me of Berserk before you do that, okay? I mean, that's why I'm not gonna ever burn a Berserk volume. But I'm just saying. Uh, I'm saying, oh, he thinks he's funny. I'm gonna remind you of Berserk. Can you believe this guy? Insane. This is what I like to see in my chat. This is what I like to see in my chat. We, this is what I like to see. Yep. There we go. There we go. Dog shit that serious. Fuck this shit. Yep, there you go. I don't even go. If I'm fing up my slides, there you go. JJK. The rain ain't gonna stop this shit. Y'all came too late. Okay, I'm about to get drenched. I'm about to get drenched. Where the is my car? Alright, 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 chill! 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 There's literally nothing that we got when it comes to the three Japanese ventral spirits. Yuta, he has ties to the fucking, this nigga, Sugawara no Michizane. We don't see that nigga. Like, why are you gonna reference all of this Buddhist shit and go nowhere with it in the story? You know what's cool about Evangelion? References Christ. It has something to do with the story. This nigga just throws Buddhism on top of shit because he's not creative. He just bites the sauce and goes nowhere with it. Why is it Buddhist? Why is it Buddhist? Oh, it's just a Japanese religion. Do you see how stupid this shit is? Honestly, one of the worst writers... I've seen in the magazine. And it's a shame. Imagine how many other niggas actually have some amazing ideas. We had fucking Zyga, Zipman, Diaspora Razor, fucking crazy ass mangas. I can go down the fucking list that got canned for JJK to be in the magazine. Then all it is, is just modern day Naruto. But even then, that's just crazy to say in of itself. Nigga got a nine-tailed fox with four fucking arms in his body. But this time, he doesn't make friends with it. What about this nigga's family? Like, this is what made shit like Naruto good. We actually cared about seeing this nigga's dad. We actually cared about Jiraiya's death. Bro, when Gojo died... What the fuck was there to care about? Be 100% honest with me. Outside of niggas dick sucking this nigga for having white hair and being OP, what is this nigga Gojo's character? What is it? A side character like fucking Itachi has more going for him than a main character in JJK. This is fucking crazy. Don't even, don't even tell me that, oh, this nigga doesn't want to make a long-term fucking manga. This nigga's literally about to make a new manga 
right after ending JJK. You're telling me the peak of the series is a bunch of niggas getting killed in Shibuya. Sideline the fucking the, the disaster spirits for no fucking reason. Actually, they actually had convictions and reasons as to why they're evil because humans are destroying the planet. But fuck that plot point. Fuck the the, the development. Fuck the world building. Just fuck the villains. Let's give me a give me a, a fucking scientist that's evil who wants to create a stupid monster that we don't see who's willing to get backshotted just to fucking be be the villain for the main character, bro. Why is the villain taking backshots? Why does Yuji have fucking super strength? Who is this nigga? Oh my god. Don't let me get started on Megumi, bro. Where's his full domain? What the fuck did this nigga do? The entire fucking manga. Besides, suicide bait. Go nowhere. Not have any real character dynamics. There's always this inner struggle about him not knowing his dad. This nigga went the whole manga not knowing Toji is his fucking dad. Are you serious? The whole manga not knowing Toji is his dad. Why introduce a character like fucking Toji if he's just there to just fight Gojo and save this nigga for no reason? Oh my fucking god, bro. Wow. I was with JJK from the fucking beginning, bro. I was covering this shit before any YouTuber was. And if any of y'all been following this channel, you know I was. So that's what it just makes this shit that much more frustrating. I wanted this shit to be good. I wanted this shit to be great. There's no explanations. Where did the curse techniques come from? Why does the shadow technique only get inherited by one fucking nigga. Why the fuck do they summon anything like Maharaga? Why is he summoning dogs? What, is, what, what the fuck is going on, bro? Like, what the hell? Even Naruto gives me an explanation as to where the fucking summoning jutsus come from. No, they, they explain where every jutsu comes from. What is the explanation behind this JJK power system outside of niggas just doing shit? Ned is explained. Fucking Key is explained. Chakra is explained. JJK is just angry niggas, bro. Angry niggas throwing hands. What is this? And then in the story, Nobar's character, talking about Sayori. She was ostracized by people that were that, that were afraid of shamans. Part of the world building that is gone. Even the girls that Ghetto saved, they were ostracized by the country folk who did not understand sorcerers. Where is shit like that in the story? Where are these characters? Where is this discrimination? There's so much going on. All this shit about fucking non-shamans not having voices where shamans do. So there's clear 
fucking ostracization and discrimination and segregation going on in the story. But fuck it, we see Yuji throw hands. And let me get let me get on Yuji, bro. Let me get on Yuji. This nigga is one of the most faceless, boring main characters I've ever laid eyes on. The most basic nigga main character I see. Niggas only dick ride this nigga because he looks cool and all he does is wear the same dusty ass hoodie. What is there to like? What is there to like? Oh my god. He's a regular nigga being pulled in the jujitsu world. Okay, I thought that aspect of his character was fucking fire, but guess what? Guess fucking what? He's not. Uh, he has ties to it. And it's just like, what the fuck is this nigga doing with Yuji? What is he doing? What? It just makes no fucking sense. He can't decide whether or not this nigga's a regular human, a fucking monster, a sorcerer. This nigga's just everybody. Oh my god. Like, wow. And then, and then, like, this nigga, Kenjaku, literally just dismantles the entire Camel Clan. What the fuck happened to the Camel Clan? This nigga just became the head and that's it? What the fuck? Like, this shit is just, like, honestly... Headache inducing. Why do these niggas use blood as a power? Why do they use blood? Honestly, it seems like every excuse in this manga is just for shit to look cool. This is easily one of the biggest disappointments I fucking read. I thought this nigga was like that. I thought JJ was a masterful writer. And he proved me fucking wrong. And I'm sitting here looking stupid. Like, wow. Like, what is the history of this shit? Like, this dude... Bro, I can't, bro. This shit is like... And we got like... Sorcerers in Africa. We don't see shit about them. We don't see shit about them. Like what? Why even mention... All of these other sorcerers... And do nothing with them? Hey, there's other sorcerers that exist outside of Japan... Okay, what about them? Oh, no, they just exist. They're there. Oh, damn, it would have been nice to see them. You get one or two black guys. That's Africa. Like, are you serious? I, like... Cursed spirits can go so fucking far. Wouldn't it have been cool to see these niggas fight an evil African god for an arc? How fucking tough would that have been? But no. We don't get that. All we get is an overhyped fight with forearms from Ben 10. And it just ends in the, the most fucking disappointing way I've ever seen. Literally, the most disappointing way I've ever fucking seen. Like, they just, like, everything just happens, and they just skip back to daily life. Oh, we're still killing curses. So we still have the problem of curses being a thing and sorcerers dying that Ghetto was trying to prevent 
From the very beginning, there was no change. There was no nothing. They just fought the most evil nigga. Oh, thank God he's not on the planet. Who knows what he would have done. You're telling me there aren't more niggas like Sukuna in this story. When he's pulling from Buddhism. Do, does anyone really think Sukuna is like the only fucking Buddha that exists? Are you really led, you like, I'm led to believe as a reader that Sukuna is the only crazy ass nigga in the series. So biting from history just fucking fucks this nigga like completely because you're going to bite from history and then when we try and apply more history to it, what about the other Buddhist gods? Why is Sukuna evil? Why is he evil? Fun. If that isn't the dumbest shit I've ever fucking heard. You know what? It's different. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. But even for fun, fuck, he's doing it for fun. And then at that last chapter, he's a simp. How are you going to be an evil nigga for fun and then be a simp? Oh, great, this nigga had a fucking girlfriend. That would have been nice to touch upon in a backstory so I'd have understood why this nigga wanted to be a villain. But no, we get this nigga talking to Maito in a fucking, in, in like, all black. Like, what? It would have been nice to know about this bitch Sukuna knew. Actually crazy. Actually fucking crazy. And then this thing of Maito is still alive. Even though he was devoured by Kenjaku. And then Kenjaku dies? Nigga what the fuck? And, and bro, this nigga Maito is the only one who goes through a transformation and evolves as a curse. Why didn't Sukuna do that? Why didn't any other character do that? Why? Why did this nigga transform? He was being true to himself. Nigga, what? Like, why does this not apply to any other character? Why? Like, where is he going with this? Like, every single thing that happens in this manga just feels like a convoluted bullshit excuse to continue the fucking plot. Every time. Every time. Like, you have these dumbass niggas Naming shit after Nanami dying in fucking JJK. Fucking referencing the nigga in Malaysia. Who was this nigga? Businessman. Uh, I, don't, I don't really fuck with saving people, man. I'm, I'm, I'm depressed. Fuck it. Okay, I want to be a good guy one day. That nigga dying meant nothing. It was fucking worthless. And guess who else died? And it meant nothing. And it was fucking worthless. Nobara! Who is this bitch? Why does she have voodoo? Everyone else is using Japanese shit to fight. Why does she have a voodoo doll? She plays Smash Brothers in her backstory. Oh my god, like, nigga, what the fuck happened? What happened? Dog shit manga. God damn it. And then Kenjaku. Okay, this nigga you the one shot. So, we're having the mastermind behind the whole entire plot 
basically giving a reason to be a fucking, for anything to happen in the plot, he just dies like it's nothing. Cool you to flex, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Where is this monster? Why is Kenjaku Naruto like the original Naruto Shikamo? What did this nigga do? Hey, yo, pregnant bitch, give me some evil monsters. Nigga, why? Why is this nigga a piece of shit? Uh, he a scientist. I guess anyone with a fucking brain is evil. My God. And we literally had fucking Ghetto fighting for his body back the entire time with Kenjaku. And this nigga was even doing shit, like showing Ghetto's mannerisms and shit. Nigga. Why? Why? Oh my fucking God. And then... Nobara, oh, this bitch dead for half the plot. She wear an eye patch. Standard anime shit. Character loses an eye, gets a fucking eye patch. This bitch is showing up at the end. Why am I supposed to care? They went on only three missions with this bitch. What the fuck, man? That's not even fan service. You want fan service? Master Roshi pulling up the fight in Dragon Ball Super. That's fan service. Who thought that old ass nigga was going to run the ones? A nigga that niggas actually cared about. Pulling up. Who is damn near forgotten. You can't have fan service for characters who aren't even characters. Like, bro, why is the Gojo backstory like the only backstory in this fucking manga? This nigga could take some fucking notes from One Piece, honestly. Because that entire backstory with Gojo, as good as it is, serves no purpose. It serves no purpose. We could have honestly gone without that shit. Well, this nigga get a new ability. This nigga Toji set up some stupid shit. I'm not even... Uh, uh, there's some shit he did in the plot. I, I'm just not even over that. But Because like, I'm just like, I I'm too pissed. I'm too pissed. Like, wow. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god, bro. Like, like, this manga just ends up being a dog shit Naruto, bro. I, I hate to say it. I really hate to say it. It's honestly just dog shit Naruto. It really is. It really fucking is. No world building. Nigga, I mean, you get the fights. Cool, I guess. But there's no ideologies. No reasons. Nothing. You know what's cool? We knew why Obito is a villain. We knew why Aizen's a fucking villain. Like, what? On, oh, bro. And then we have, like, the higher-ups of the fucking in JJK. Just, like, what do, what do they do, bro? We can go ahead and kill these niggas. But, like, there are rules and regulations for a reason. Like, what did they do before... Ultimately saying, hey, let's kill a nigga because he has an evil spirit in his body. 
How they approach it, that. And then when Mechamar, nigga, where the fuck is all this technology coming from? Where? That nigga a genius, he just, he just does this shit like, oh my god. Literally all the writing went into the power system. It literally went into the power system. And that's fucking ass. Honest to God, dog shit. Like, I, I, I'm even trying to wrap my head around, like, why the... F oh, my God. This nigga sat here and took Megumi's body. And in the final fight, does not use this nigga's abilities to fight all the sorcerers. So, let's use our fucking brains for one goddamn second. If this nigga Sukuno would have used Maharaga and his domain at the same time, and whatever the fuck he summoned against Gojo, who was stopping him? Who was stopping him, bro? But this nigga just forgets to use all that shit. But this nigga can construct a plan to fucking get some bullshit convoluted thing to slice through goddamn Gojo's overpowered shield of space? Yo, <laughs> I shit you not, bro. I am going to be surprised if anyone talks about this manga in the next five fucking years. Honestly, like this shit was literally the face of Shonen Jump. And it goes nowhere. We're back where we started. Outside of like two or three niggas dying. Great. Awesome. All these ideals about changing the world. Like no one did anything. No one did anything, bro. Literally, all these characters had dreams ambitions, this, that, and the third. Where the fuck did it go? What was the point of this nigga Yuji's granddad telling him the shit in the beginning when this nigga does not die? Don't be like me and die a death where niggas don't give a fuck about you. Where is this death? What was the point? Nothing in that first chapter comes full circle. <coughs> what the hell? So fucking stupid, man. So fucking stupid. Like, honestly, like, Bro, you're telling me these same Sukuna fingers were activating throughout the plot and causing more curses to show up and we still have a fucking finger at the end of the manga? They literally sought out to kill this nigga. But there's still a fucking finger. They still didn't even get the job done. What? Oh my god. You can't sell a whole manga 
on a fight and make that shit ass. Imagine Baki when he finally fucking fights Yujiro and that shit's ass. Imagine in One Piece when he finally fights me, when fucking Zoro finally fights Mihawk and that shit's ass. Imagine in Naruto when he finally fights Sasuke, they throw five fucking fists at each other, then they hug and talk it out. That's JJK, nigga. What does this shit do? The world in that series did not change. Does it say anything about shit not changing or why shit should be the same? You know, it would have been nice if in the story, instead of hinting at the collapse of society, we actually fucking see it and see the repercussions it has on the fucking world or maybe the Heian era that was promised so many times. Oh my God, it's so bad that this nigga Sukuna is going to be bad. Nigga, how is it bad? When we have... The villains saying it's a good thing. The humans saying it's a good thing. Other humans saying it's a bad thing. So many different perspectives and we see none of it coming to fruition. Not a damn thing. So at the end of the day, we don't see who was right or who is wrong about the fucking world. Dog shit writing. Ghetto. This is a world that's bad for shamans. The cultists. Oh, we, we want to see the cult come back and we want to see fucking the, the damn... Oh my fucking God. The monotheism reigns supreme. Fucking the curses. We want a world of curses. Why don't we get to see what a world of curses is? What it brings? Why it's a fucking problem? There's like, bro, why the fuck is Black Clover having a time skip before JJK when honest to God, JJK could have used a fucking time skip where we could have seen what the world could have been like or see why things were better the way they were. Like, there's just all these problems that exist and none of it fucking happens. None of it. Like, these cursed spirits are literal gods and forces of nature. Oh, we're just, they exist, we're just gonna keep killing these gods. Literally, the story proved it to, it proved to us readers how this is a problem. And it's still happening and ongoing. Oh my God. This manga is honestly a waste of time. Serves no purpose. It goes nowhere. It takes its inspiration and just fucking tap dances. It goes nowhere. Oh my God. So fucking ass. So fucking ass. Like, oh my god. Like, 
<laughs> and then so much off-screen bullshit. This nigga Hakari gets like he doesn't get to fight Uraume. What is Uraume as a character? I just dick suck Sukuna for the fuck of it. Like, what is Hikari's character? What is his obsession with the fever? He brings up the fever the entire time. Why did Hikari step away from the hot from Jujutsu? Why did he just? Why did he join the streets? Oh, that nigga a player. He just he just don't fuck with them niggas. He just don't fuck with them niggas. That nigga, that nigga Akari gangster. That's it. Nigga, what the fuck? This stupid ass shit. Oh, and the, when that nigga Gojo gets sealed, the evil villains from around the world are gonna come out of hiding. Two niggas. It's two fucking people. And they conveniently pull up where the fucking main characters are. Nigga, what the fuck? They're talking about the balance of the world and society and all this stupid shit. And only two old retired bitches pull up. Absolute horseshit. And curses, we read it, and curses, <laughs> they're supposed to be anything that a person a person fears. It's so crazy how Chainsaw Man is doing exactly. What JJK is doing and doing it on a conceptual level and actually adding something fucking interesting. You're telling me JJK likes to bite from Japanese mythology. Nigga, do you know how many fucking Japanese gods are tied with fucking aliens? Where the fuck is the fear of aliens? Where the fuck is, like... Like, we got the fear of humans. Nigga, this nigga is so ass. The fear of a volcano. Nigga, really? The fear of water. The fear of fucking trees. Nigga, when's the last time you walked outside and got scared of a fucking tree? This shit is ass. All these bullshit mentions of all this history, all this background that happens in the story. Like, this bitch was mad at fucking Yuta for some connection with the Fujiwara clan. Nigga, why? What is the backstory to this shit? What the fuck is going on? It... Oh my fucking God. Like, I'm about to circle back on Yuji's character, bro. Like, this, this nigga went from what I found interesting about his character. He went from being a kind-hearted individual. And then they're talking about the true nature of human beings in the story. Being hatred, anger, the desire to kill and destroy. And then Yuji, I'm a kind-hearted human being. The minute someone killed Junpei, the, deep down in the pit of his stomach, he felt like he learned the truth of what human nature was. And that was the desire to fucking kill and destroy. Where is this? Where is this in the plot? Like, what is this nigga's character arc? Nigga killed my best friend, I'm angry. In like one chapter, 
They just settle the shit off of Toto bitch slapping this nigga. And he's like, don't be angry, nigga. Don't be angry. He's like, okay, I won't be angry ever again. That's it? That's it? This nigga Naruto spent the whole fucking series fighting his inner demons. And not wanting to kill people. And in JJK, one random emo nigga with bangs dies and the anger and the frustration is gone after that? So fucking ass. What where does this nigga's character go? What happened to Yuji's parents? Nigga, who the fuck is Yuji? Oh, this nigga is strong as Maki. Oh, this nigga has inhuman abilities. How? For all we know, this nigga was born in a fucking Mountain Dew factory. Where did this nigga come from? Why is he the main character? Why is he a vessel for Sukuna? Oh, um, by chance, this random ass nigga, he's a vessel for Sukuna. Like, did Kenjaku prepare this nigga for that? Why are only... Megumi and Yuji fucking able to become Sukuna vessels. What is the explanation? What is stopping me from believing any random nigga can just go up and eat that finger after the final chapter? What is stopping that? So fucking ass. Like, why is this nigga here? Dog shit writing. My fucking God. You can't make this shit up. What is even the beef with the Zenin clan, nigga? Like, what the fuck? Why are the three families at each other's throats? What are they fighting for? Oh, we the best sorceress. We the best at saving, niggas. Nigga, what is it? Is it money? Like, what? Like, my fucking God. What the hell, bro? Why? These niggas are in Japan. Why is there a bitch sliding off of a fucking broom like she's pulled from fucking Harry Potter? Why does she conveniently use fucking wind as an ability? Where did that come from? Like, what the fuck? Why does Utahime have a scar on her fucking face? Where is Toto's clan? What is Toto's backstory? How does Toto know the one bitch? Like, what the... Why does he know Yuki Tsukumo? What is his relation to her? Outside of this bitch... Pulling up on a motorcycle, trying to be a cougar. What the fuck? Actual dog shit. Why does this nigga like Idol so much? My God, like, like this nigga, what, bro, just stupid ass shit, God damn, bro, bro, I need to, I, I need to think about other shit in the plot, cause like, bro, a whole plot point that was not covered. Literally, the life of a female sorcerer. Literally, fucking Nobara and that one bitch that's a witch, 
They were literally just fucking arguing about females having to be beautiful while doing jujitsu and shit like that. What? What is that? I don't understand this struggle. I don't understand, like, oh, you don't know, Mai has to, she has to compete with fucking Maki. All they do is talk. All they do is talk. Like, God damn it. Bro. And then, like, the dumbest shit, like, this nigga Tengen existed for, like, thousands of years. And then, you know, these niggas are spreading Buddhism and shit. Like, what did that do? During the Nara period, these niggas were literally pushing Buddhism onto society. Nigga, where does the, where does the belief in God go? If this nigga Sukuna is a Buddha and they're all practicing Buddhism, wouldn't that essentially mean that this nigga is their God? What is, what's going, what the fuck is going on? What, why is, why is a Buddha evil as fuck in this manga this manga is inspired by fucking horror movies and buddhism what is the what is the horror behind the religion what is this saying what is this doing besides just saying hey we got a god in real life he's the evil nigga in this shit that's it i don't even know if i'm like bro Jeji Akutami's on the shit list, nigga. Whatever new manga he's making, I'm not reading, bro. Like, y'all niggas seen it firsthand. Like, save yourselves, bro. Save yourselves, man. Shit is not worth it. On God, this shit's not worth it. Like, d like niggas really sleep on the amount of fucking time. A nigga has to put into this shit to actually, like, even just get caught up in the damn story. Like, this shit is a, like, this shit was engraved into my fucking brain for so many fucking years. Like, what, what does this ending do? I literally cannot tell you guys. And it's just so annoying because there's just so much yet we're offered so fucking little. Like I, I don't even, I can't even fathom anything about Kenjaku. Like there's no dynamic between both of the Noritoshis and why this nigga's named after him or anything of that nature. There's just like literally, oh my God, bro. And then, then what? 